great. Okay, I'm fine. Just had a thing in my side. Oh, 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 oh. what's he got in here? Money? Huh? Something I can do for you? Well, um, I, I'm here to see Mr. Winkler. Oh, there you go. Oh, easy. Come on, Brooks. Are you okay? I don't know if they'll open it up again just for lift you. Lift it higher. You're gonna, you're gonna miss one. Come on, go lift it. Try it again. Everybody ready? Most folks think that it's a strange occupation. Some folks call it a deranged aggregation. We can't help it. We just have to this way. Mama always wanted me to be your physician. Dad said he'd rather I become a beautician. But we can't help it. We just have to this way. Cause it should be working for a living. Okay, back to work. It's nobody famous. It's nobody famous. <laughs> oh, that thing is heavy. Sad day, isn't it? I'll say. Did you know Buddy Long? No. No, I never even met him. See, I sent him some cartoon samples from Duluth. You know, some storyboards and stuff. And he wrote back and said that maybe if I came to Hollywood, he might be able to find some kind of job for me. And you came all the way out here to find this. I don't even know where I'm going to stay. Mm, that's tough luck. On the other hand, compared to Buddy, his luck's pretty good. <laughs> of course, uh, then again, old Bud's got a place to stay tonight. <laughs> He's a writer. Why was Mr. Winkler lying in state in there? Aggie thought it was appropriate that he stay at the duck factory right up to the end. Okay, what do you say? Let's roll! She seems to be holding up well. Who? Aggie over there, Mrs. Winkler. Aggie isn't Mrs. Winkler. Aggie's the business manager. Well, then which one is Mrs. Winkler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Andrea, are you coming? Wouldn't miss it. It's nice meeting you. Come on. Hi. Just gonna hang around here? I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Wanna come with us? Where? I don't know. To the funeral? Could I? Oh, that'd be great! <laughs> Hi again. Excuse me. Aren't you Brooks Carmichael? Yeah. Probably your biggest fan, Skip Tarkenton. Skip? Skip. I've been seeing your name on cartoons ever since I was a little kid. You're great. No. Are you an animator, too? Assistant film cutter. Actually, I'm the cutter, but Buddy wouldn't promote me because he'd have to pay me more. Looks like Buddy isn't the only thing that's dead around here. <laughs> there goes Buddy. Uh-oh. Aggie. I wonder if I could have a little push.
time to tell him to be here. Tell who? The minister. Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> okay, listen up. We're gonna have to wing this. What? The widow Winkler forgot to get a minister. Well, what are we supposed to do? I went to a funeral once where everyone told nice stories about the guy who died. This is Buddy Winkler we're talking about. We don't have a nice story between us. <laughs> I'll go first. I'm sure everybody here knows that nobody was closer to Buddy than I was. Nobody. <laughs> I'll never forget those nights at the studio when we worked till after midnight. And sometimes all night. And now... <laughs> That dear, 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 dear man is gone. I, uh, I remember so well the last time I saw him last Tuesday. I was, uh, on the phone getting estimates on having the toilet fixed when Buddy looked up from his desk and winked at me in that way of his and he said, Ag. He used to call me Ag. He said, I, I don't know how the duck factory would get through without you. If anything should ever, should ever happen to me, I want you to promise me you'll take over. <laughs> I intend to keep that promise. As I stand here on this very solemn occasion, Whoa. I'll never forget the first time I met Buddy. You're doing the duck. Oops. <laughs> Darn it. Excuse me. Anyway... I went to Buddy and asked him if I could borrow $7,000 for the triple bypass surgery. He sat there and thought about it and said, Frank, you know how he liked to kid us pretending he didn't know our names. <laughs> Frank, he said, I really would like to do it, but there's this speedboat I got my eye on. I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> of course, I, I didn't have the operation, which was just great, because it turned out that they mixed up my angiogram with somebody else's. <laughs> So I'm here to thank Buddy for the fact that I didn't go through any of that unnecessary <laughs> surgery. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> so it was my turn to help Buddy wash his car. And I said, Buddy, a lot of us have been thinking, and, well, we'd like to have a group medical plan. Buddy put his arm around my shoulder, and he said, hey, why didn't you say something before? I'll fire the whole bunch of you, and you can all go over to Disney. I hear they've got a great medical plan. And he turned the hose on me. Your turn. <laughs> Who, me? I didn't even know him. You knew him well enough to be a pallbearer. <laughs> I, um... I didn't know Mr. Winkler at all. Well, but to me, like every kid who ever watched Saturday morning cartoons, Buddy Winkler was a household name, like Spider-Man. Good choice. I grew up with the message that Mr. Winkler, through Dippy Duck, of course, sent to the youth of America. That no matter how many times Dippy was flattened by Irving the Terrible, or kicked in the teeth by Rotten Ronaldo, that somehow his good old-fashioned American gumption would always prevail. So even as I stand here on this sad occasion, that philosophy fills me with hope, knowing that you will pick yourselves up after being kicked in the teeth by his death, dust yourselves off, and face whatever the future brings. The kid is running for something. <laughs> this boy we should do this more often in fact i want you to all come up to casa contento for some food and drinks okay okay that's nice well great then i'll see y'all there anybody ever been to buddy's house anybody know where the hell it is oh, i was there a couple of times but it was so dark i don't think i could find it again then how are we going to get there follow that car <laughs> Thank you. 
How do you like this? Buddy told me he lived in an apartment in Burbank. And he couldn't afford to fix the toilets at the studio because he was almost bankrupt. I can see why. A place like this must have just about broken him. <laughs> I uh, decided to change it to something a little less somber. I mean, Buddy wouldn't want me to spend the rest of my life in mourning, do you think? Sure he wouldn't. What was your name again? Uh, Skip Tarkington. Oh, right. Oh, of course, Buddy just thought the world of you. No, see, he couldn't have. I, I just arrived in town today, so I, I really didn't know him at all. Well, hey, I can relate to that. I only knew him for about three weeks myself. So I guess you and I knew him less than anybody who's here. Come on, sit down. Three weeks? That's all? Yeah, but you can really get to know a person pretty well in three weeks. How did you, uh, come to me? Oh, well, it's a cute story. Uh, Buddy's wife died, so he came up to Vegas to work out all of his grief. And then he saw me in this topless ice show, and that was like it. Uh, topless. <laughs> I've, uh, I've played a little hockey. Be uh... Uh -huh. Well, to tell you the truth, I can just barely stand up on the ice, but you don't exactly have to be Peggy Fleming if you're willing to skate with your shirt off. <laughs> what are you going to do now? I uh, guess I'll look for a place to stay and then try and find a job. Well, hey, you could always stay here. There's tons of room. Well, that's very kind of you, Mrs. Winkler, but... Uh... Uh, probably wouldn't look too good right after his funeral and everything. <laughs> well... I guess I better go talk to the others. What was that all about? Nothing. I'm warning you. Don't try to insinuate yourself into a job through her. Oh. I see what you're up to. Oh, I'm not all this may be hers, but the studio is mine. Have you got that? Well, I was only... You want a job, you come to me for it, not her. Is that clear? Perfectly. You mean I could get a job here? Don't be coy. You'll start like everybody else with our apprentice program. Mm -hmm.